week over a proposed location for a new juvenile justice center funded by you, the taxpayer. Two Works for You anchor Max Resnick dives into the debate with opinions from both sides. It's new tonight at 6 o'clock. The current juvenile justice center is old, too small, and badly in need of repairs. That's part of the reason many of you voted last year to fund a new center with a 15-year sales tax. One county commissioner has her eye on a structure that already exists, and she believes it could be the right fit, possibly the best fit. But many residents in the neighborhood say they don't want it. From Chris Murphy to find some other place to Robert Patterson. It's very, very concerning to William Tullison. I'm afraid if they have a juvenile center in here, we'll start having problems. The thought of turning the Laura Dester Center, which will close this year, into the Juvenile Justice Center isn't all that appetizing. From my standpoint, the state representative for the district says he's having trouble with the idea, too. I'm just frustrated that we're using people's own tax dollars to effectively lower their property values without their cons not only without their consent, but without their knowledge. Tulsa County Commissioner Karen Keith says this is not the case. You'll have 250 professionals coming and going every day from that facility. And so I looked, I drove around and looked at the business neighborhood. There are some restaurants there. There's one that's closed down. You'll likely see that reopen. Keith says the Laura Dester Center could be the best spot for the Juvenile Justice Center. The cottages will work for us for some transitional housing. And then the administrative building has room for all of the ancillary agencies that help us make juvenile successful with all these great programs. And then there's plenty of room for us to build our courthouse. Even with these possible advantages, Proctor and his constituents prefer a rural setting for the center. Right now, there are no finalized plans to put the Juvenile Justice Center inside the Laura Dester Center. Commissioner Keith says she needs to talk with DHS. She needs to find out if it'll even be available for the Juvenile Justice Center. Then they can start to work on a plan and possibly finalize one. Max Resnick, 2 News Works for You.